Okay, in this video, we're going to go over the screen capture process using the Windows Media Encoder. Okay, now when you first bring it up, you will see what happens when you click New Session here. So you'll see something like this. And this uh, show this dialog box at startup. You can uncheck that if you don't want to see this box at startup. If you do that, then you're going to see this main screen up here. Okay, so let's just go and have a look at this screen before we go any further. Okay, so here you can choose the percentage of zoom for the input and the output display. Okay, so usually you're not going to want to do anything with that. What here, this display, it just shows the what you're seeing here. Okay, so that says input, output, well, both. Okay. So here's your input, here's your output. I meant to click output there. Okay, next and split. Okay, now I don't, I don't worry about this too much. I really actually ignore this entire window during this process because once you get things going, when you are recording, this whole thing disappears. And when you want to stop recording, all you have to do is click the button for this on your taskbar. It stops recording and pops this back up again. Then from there, all you got to do is click stop and it saves your video. So there's really not much you need to do in here. Okay, here you have properties. Okay, and it brings up a property screen here. Now this is important because you need to set your any video devices and audio devices. Okay, so if you're not using a default device, then you're going to need to pick from your channels here. And then when you end it, what you want it to do, stop, loop, roll over. Usually you're going to want to leave that as stop. Okay, your output here. This is just if you want to push it to your server. We're just going to be outputting to a file, so we don't need to worry about that. Compression, there's nothing in here. Video size, you can just set the default size in here if you want to do that. Okay, attributes, these are, when you set up your video, you'll be asked to put these in or you can skip them. So you can add anything here or edit the ones that are there. And we'll see this in a minute. Okay, processing. I don't suggest doing anything with this. Okay, plugins. There's nothing to do here. Security. Again, nothing to do here. And advance. I would leave this alone as well. Okay, so basically there's the only thing you need to make sure of is that you have the default audio device set properly. So it's either going to use default or pick one out of here. Okay, so here are your capture options. You can capture a specific window. So it will always default to that window no matter what else is going on in your screen. It's only going to focus in on that. You need to make sure that window is open before you choose that option. Next we have region of the screen. Okay, when you choose region of the screen, you get to pick the area of the screen you're going to record. And it'll always record that region no matter what windows you're opening or closing. And then, of course, there's the entire screen. And that's pretty self-explanatory. Everything on your screen is going to get recorded. And then capture audio from the default audio device. Okay, so let's do that. I'm going to use region of the screen. So we'll click next. Now, you can do this a couple of ways. You can set the top left corner X and Y coordinates in pixels. Here you have width and height. Now, the way I do it is I just click on this. Okay, and then what we do is we move the mouse to the region we want to capture. So let's move it up here. Well, let's start down at the bottom because it's black up there. We can't really see what I'm what I'm doing there. So let's we'll go down here. I'm going to put it right in, inside the region that we have now. Okay, so I'm currently recording this video in a region slightly bigger. So I want to keep this inside so you can see. Okay, so I let go of that, and now it's already filled in these coordinates for me width and height. 
Okay, now the other thing you can do is flash border during capture. I like to do that because it shows me that it's actually capturing. If you don't have that there, there's no indication that it's capturing. And you're not going to see that in the video. Okay, and then it just says here that the main encoder window is minimized during capture. So to stop or pause encoding, you just click the encoder button on the taskbar, as I said before. Okay, let's click next. Now, here you're going to give it a file name. We're going to, we need to choose where we're going to save it. So we click browse here and then we give it a name of the file. Okay, so let's click browse and choose a directory to put it in or create one. Okay, so I have my test recording. Let's give the file a name now. So I'm going to call it the test. Now, as you see, it's going to record it as a Windows Media Video, so WMV. Let's save. Okay, so that didn't really save anything. All it's doing is telling us where it's going to go. We click Next here. And then what we're going to do here is set the quality of the video. So we have low. If it's a small file, you can use that one. Medium is a balance between the size and quality of the output file. And high, of course, is going to be the best quality and the largest file. So choose whichever you like here. I'm just going to use medium. Okay, we click next. Now this is what I was talking about before. This is the information we saw in the setup. So if you had put something else in here or edited one of these, you can you could be able to put the information in here. This information is not required, but let's put it in anyway. Okay, let's click next. Now this is just a summary. So we're doing a screen capture, images from screen. We're capturing a region of the screen. We're flashing the border, capturing audio from the audio default audio device, where it's being saved, the screen audio media. And this is the profile here. Okay, and then the uh, the information we just put in here, and then we can begin when I click finish. Okay, so when I click finish, it's going to start. It's going to reduce this and we're going to be able to start our screen recording. So let's finish here. Okay, so click OK to close the dialog box and start the capture. So click OK and there we go. Now you see the red flashing box there? That is telling us that we are recording that region of the screen. Okay, so whatever we want to do here, let's uh, Let's click some links and go through. So basically now what you're doing is you're giving your lesson whatever you're going to do. Opening, we can open, for instance, if we were to open a, another tab here and go somewhere else. Okay, and then we we're going to go watch a TV, you know, I was going to show them how to watch a TV episode. We could go in here, whatever we're doing. Okay, it's going to record everything you do. So you have a true lesson going on here. Okay, so when you're done, down on the taskbar, which you can't actually see in this video, there is your control for this, for the media encoder. So all you have to do is click on it. I'll click on it here and this popped up and it is now paused it okay so we're in pause mode okay so now if I click stop it's going to stop encoding and if I start it's going to continue with where it was okay so let's go down we will click it again let's stop it now okay and here's here's the summary so the content duration was 122. Session duration was 123. Here's the size. Here is a bit rate and an average bit rate. Now we can play the output file. We can also open it. We created a folder. Let me open this folder here.
and there's the video in the folder okay so let's let's just uh, play the output file it's going to open up the video player for us now okay so it's playing the video here okay so now we know that that's there so we can just close this and we now have our recorded video so that's how you use the Windows Media Encoder to record your videos. In the next video, we're just going to go over some basics of the Windows Movie Maker and we're going to edit our recording.